or I can just grab control and play a song. As soon as I can tap it, you can see it shows up down here. It's starting to play on, on the queue now. And I can also just tap right on down here, and it'll bring up the, uh, the list of everything that's queued up for playing. I know Gabe's adding some stuff right now. Ah, oh, so you establish a queue for the queue. Yes, <laughs> yep, exactly. And, uh, you know, you can pick something to play immediately, or you can just add stuff to the end, so you can, you know, your friends can all add stuff. So. And I see the same thing as him. We're both hooked into the same device. I'm adding music, he's adding music. You can see my face next to my music. We can see his face next to his music. Very cool. Looks like Gabe was claiming the next three hours. <laughs> what? <laughs> added some stuff. So then the files, are they, um... They're actually loaded on the queue itself and then played back the directly. Streams them directly from the cloud. Gotcha. Yep. So there's so no I can, I can there's no streaming from the, the not tablet. Not my tablet. I can walk out with this tablet and it'll keep playing. Makes sense. I, I see. I can also do the same with with movies actually. So if I go in the Google Play Movies and TV app, um, I can choose to. Use the queue for output. You can see the little blue icon here shows that it's connected to the queue, and I can choose to go ahead and play this movie. And now the queue is going to stream the movie from the cloud, and uh, should replace the music. I see. So this basically sends a push notification of some kind over. Yep. It just tells tells the cloud. Uh, tells the queue to play uh, this Transformers movie. Yeah. And now this is going to be uh, buffered up and streamed live from the cloud. Or can Google Play. And then you can control playback from yeah, there, Yeah, I can right? control playback right on here. You know, I can choose to, you know, seek and it'll uh, jump to 20 I minutes. I see. Or, and you can control volume and all that stuff. Yep. Just volume buttons on my device right here are going to... I'm not super Change familiar with all gonna... the formats that are in the Google Play Store, but is that that's 1080p? What like high profile or? Yeah, this is, this is an HD movie that's playing on here. Um, you know, we we offer have 1080p HDMI output. Gotcha. Yes. Oh, hey. Very nice. And we offer SDN HD for. Yeah. I see. We also have integration with YouTube. I just seized control again from him. So this is one of our uh, launch videos. Mm -hmm. So same thing. Uh, anybody can jump in, take control of the device, stream a TV show, stream a movie, stream a YouTube video, you know, play music in their YouTube videos, play music, do the visualizer. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's designed for a lot of people to get together and enjoy the content, right? I see. Now, what about what about control? Can you set a password so your friends can't jack it and put you on something random on YouTube? Uh, so that's a theme question. So actually, I mean, this is kind of an interesting environment because we have a lot of people connected to the same yeah. device, but typically in, in real world use, it's not really much of a problem. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Kind of like you you let the person into so, your house. So like one of the security yeah. models is the Wi-Fi network, right? Yeah. So you can't access the device unless you're on the Wi-Fi network. Mm -hmm. So this is an open Wi-Fi network, an open device. So yeah. anybody who can get on the network can use the device. So you can have them in, you can have them in public places where people can come by and enjoy their content, but typically on a home network, it's going to be closed, right? Yeah. It's very much like having the stereo in your house with the music collection next to it, right? Makes Anybody sense. could go change the volume or put in a different CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah.